Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing my updated everyday makeup drawer. So if you are new here every month, I do an updated everyday makeup drawer and I share the products I've been using from the past month and I take you with me to pick out new products and put them back in my vanity here and then we just sit and use some of the products and do a makeup look together. So that is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. If you are new, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, as always, I just like to show what I've had in my everyday drawer. So this is everything that I've been using for a little over a month now. And definitely time to switch these things out. I'm getting kind of bored with this stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, everything out and put it away, and then we will pick out some new products. So let's pick out some new stuff. Um, what should we use? Mm, it's so hard for me to choose another corrector besides Charlotte Tilbury or Bobbi Brown. I did Bobbi Brown last month, so I guess I'll do Charlotte again. They're just my two favorites. It's really hard for me not to use those. Um, so we'll go with Charlotte and then for concealer, I don't want to do this one, the pure 4-in-1 push-up sculpting concealer. I really liked this when I first got it, but I haven't used it a ton recently, so I think I might do that one and honestly might put the NYX, bear with me concealer into because I like to use this under my eyes and all over my face so I think let me do those and that will be it for concealer for foundation um, I think I might do reboot from Makeup Forever, and then maybe um, I'm gonna do my Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer again. I love this one. This is one of my favorite tinted moisturizers of all time. It's so pretty. So I think I might do those two, and I think that's it for foundation. Oh. This is in the wrong place, but I think I'm going to put this in. This is the Say Beauty Dewy, what is this called? Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. I think I'm going to do this and try to use that instead of my Flawless Filter just to do something different. Okay, so we already picked um, the highlighter. Trying to decide if I want to do another highlight or not. I might put this in. I feel like I never use this. The What's Up by Benefit highlighter. This is a really pretty, um, just like a champagne gold color. It's really nice. I just never use it. So I might put that in and see if I use it or not but that is gonna be it for this drawer and then we have my powders down here I think I might do the Dior backstage powder this time I really like this for under my eyes and then really just to kind of brighten in the center of my face because this is a really light shade I think I might do that one. 
kind of want to put this into this is actually a powder foundation by Lima Pure. I ordered this a long time ago and I've used it but not in a really long time so I really don't even know how I feel about it so I think I might include that too. Okay for brow products I feel like I never really switch this up because I use the same things over and over. I might do Patrick Ta brow lamination gel and try to use something other than my brow waxes but I really don't I don't know I like to keep my brow products the same really so I think I'm just gonna leave my NYX lift and snatch and probably my NYX micro brow too because this is these are just my favorite then back here we have eyeliner and mascara I think I'm gonna do benefit bad gal bang and maybe Lash Stiletto from Maybelline. And then I'm just going to put in my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in Demolition. It's just a good dark brown. I think I'm going to do this Bare Minerals eye primer, the Gen Nude. I think it's actually just a liquid eyeshadow, but it's kind of like a primer too. I don't even know if they still make these. I really like these though. Um, I used to use this all the time as eyeshadow primer. I think I might do that instead of my NARS because I feel like I do that all the time. And that's it for in here. Then we have lip products. Always a difficult category. Um, I think I might do MAC in the shade Oak. It's um, kind of like stripped down but a little more beigey, not so brown. I think I might do that one. I think I might do LA Girl in Bare. This is a really light pinky nude so that will be different from Oak. And maybe the Makeup by Mario pencil in Dimitri. Yeah. So we'll do those. And then, you guys, I really need to stop with the lip products because this is just a lot. I'm going to do this new one, the Too Faced Lip Injection in Wifey for Lifey. I just got that, and I really like it. And then I think I'm going to do one of my Fawn Beauty serum glosses too. I love these. Um, this is kind of a rosier nude, but I really like this color. I'll do that. And that's going to be it for in here. Okay, so I have bronzer and blush and then small palettes over here. So, okay, I really want to use... Um, this, I pulled this out and used this the other day. It's the Dior Rosy Glow Blush and it's the really pretty pink color. I know this is really hard to get your hands on. Um, I love this color. It is so pretty on its own or over a cream blush. I just really like it. So I think I want to do that one. Honestly, might do the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This is the one I've been talking about pretty much ever since I bought it in Hope. I'm obsessed with that one. I think I might do those too. I kind of want to do this little baby Dior. This is the Warm Neutrals palette. I really love this. I don't use it as much as I should, um, but the colors in here are just perfect. Really good everyday tones. I think I might do that. And then for a bronzer, I kind of want to do a cream and do my Chanel one. I don't know. I've kind of been in the mood to use this lately. But I think I might do that. Well, maybe my Ilia bronzer. Yeah, do that. And I think 
And that's mostly it. The only other thing is my little lip thing I have right here. Honestly, lately I haven't even been really wearing lipstick very much. I've just been doing lip liner and lip gloss. I think I might stick one lipstick in. I'm going to do this one. This is MAC in the shade Blankety. It's a really good light pink that I really like. I think I'll do that and I think that is going to be it. So I got everything put away. So here's what we have in here. I have my skincare over here. I left some of this the same. I'm still trying to use up this Kinship sunscreen. So I left that. I have CeraVe. And then I have this uh, Sycopair, the Tiger, what is this stuff called? Tiger Grass Color Correcting Cream with SPF in it kind of playing around with this and I want to kind of incorporate it more in my everyday makeup. Then I did decide to add my Luminous Silk. This is the one for my project pan right now. So I put this in here, the Reboot Halo concealers and correctors in the back. All of this is the same. Then I have bronzer, highlighter, powder, and blushes in the middle eye products here. I did add my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics back here. That's also in my project pan. Um, my mascaras and then this is brow and lip products over here. So we are going to go ahead and do an everyday makeup look as always and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay we're going to do just easy everyday makeup like I always do in these videos. I already did my sunscreen and everything so we're gonna skip that and we'll just move right into the makeup so for the brows I'm gonna use the lamination gel from Patrick Ta first I'm trying to force myself to use something other than a brow wax because I feel like I just instinctively always reach for brow wax now but I do like this stuff it's just it's just different from brow wax it definitely not quite as workable as a brow wax so when you use this you can't after it's kind of set down you really can't move your brows at all so you have to kind of make sure you get them in the position that you want them before you let them set because you really can't move it around but this little paddle brush is a really good brush for fluffing your brows up if you like this fluffy look. Okay, then I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury corrector in the shade medium. So I'm just kind of focusing it right in this inner corner where I have the most darkness. It's mainly on this eye. This right eye uh, has some darkness here but not as much as my left eye. So I kind of focus it in the inner corner and then my left eye gets really dark out here and I get a little bit of darkness out here on this eye too so I like to just put a bit of that there. Okay and then I'm just gonna tap this in with my finger and let's see for foundation let's do reboot i wear y225 in this foundation this is such a pretty just everyday medium coverage at most foundation i'm just going to dot this on honestly the consistency of this foundation kind of reminds me of the NARS 
light reflecting. I feel like this one is still a little bit thicker than the NARS. The NARS is so thin. Probably one of the thinnest feeling foundations I've tried. And then before I blend it in, I'm gonna spray with Charlotte Tilbury. Look how much I've used of the Charlotte Tilbury spray. I took it with me to um, Florida and I used it so much. And now I'm even more obsessed with it because I realize how well it actually does help keep your makeup on. And I am using the F80 from Sigma to blend this in. Look at the glow that Reboot Foundation gives you. The Reboot, I think, is definitely a little bit glowier than the NARS reflecting, for sure. I would say the NARS is definitely more of a natural finish and the Reboot is more of a luminous finish. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna do the Pure 4-in-1. This is the one that has the really fun button that pops the applicator out. I don't know why that really, that really excites me. And let's see, I wear LN6 in this concealer. So I think it's supposed to be um, light neutral. I definitely think this runs a little more yellow than neutral, but I do like it. And then I add just a little bit to anywhere on my face I want, just a little more coverage. And then I'm gonna use my same foundation brush to blend that out on my face. I've been falling more and more in love actually with this Sigma F80. I remember I had this brush a long time ago and I bought it, I liked it, but I didn't like love it. But lately I've been pulling it out and using it again and I'm liking it more and more. And then I'm using, you already know, my favorite concealer brush of life. The Sigma F03. I actually saw somebody I was watching the other day and they were talking about how Sigma is in select Target stores now, which I knew it was online at Target, but I did not know it was going to be in actual Target stores but apparently it is so check your local target i think it's only like certain target stores that are getting it but that's super cool last time i looked i think you can get this fo3 brush on target.com from sigma i'm pretty sure okay for um, bronzer i'm going to use the chanel le beige bronzer this is the original one so it's the lighter color and I'm gonna use the Fenty 125 face brush, which has really been my favorite for bronzer and cream blush, cream blush recently. I get a lot of questions about this brush when I use it. I'll link it below. I, some, I usually forget to link this brush for some reason, but it's from Fenty and it's just called the 125 face brush. Sometimes it's out of stock on Sephora, but it's like the perfect angled brush for cream, bronzer, and blush. I use it all the time. I was going to do the Rare Beauty liquid blush, but I think I might just do a little bit of the Dior Rosy, that Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. I cannot talk today. In the pink color. Hopefully this is in stock when this video goes up. I don't know because I know it goes in and out all the time. But I do love it, I think. It is just the prettiest poppy, like, pink color. It's very similar to um, 
Bobbi Brown, Pale Pink, if you're familiar with that one, it's a similar tone to that, but it's, it's just really pretty. I feel like this color is just flattering on everybody. And it's also really, really buildable, so don't let the color intimidate you. It's definitely <laughs> very sheer, but you can build it up if you want, so. But it's just so pretty in pink, I love it. I think before I do powder, I think I'm gonna use just a little bit of this uh, Benefit What's Watts since I never use it. Definitely a little more of a subtle highlight. It's not like super blinding or anything, but it's pretty. All right, and then I think for powder, I'm gonna use the Dior Backstage. Um, just a little bit like in the center of my face when I use this powder I re Well, I really use it how I use all my other powders. This one is the shade zero Neutral, so it's the lightest color. So I don't typically put it like um, I don't apply it heavily all over my face just because It's very light and that would be a little too much but I do like, I really like this powder in particular actually under my eyes. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but it is very, very blurring and smoothing. Like, I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't. Sometimes you can't tell these things on camera, but this powder is very, very smoothing and blurring especially under the eyes if you want something to brighten up if you're like similar skin tone to me the shade zero neutral works really well and then I'm just gonna take a bigger brush and I'm gonna go not on the sides of my nose under my bronzer and just a little bit like right in the center of my forehead and then whatever is left kind of around my mouth but I just don't apply a whole lot since it's so light. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Ilia bronzer. I really wanna get a new powder bronzer brush. I feel like I don't have a brush that I feel like is like my perfect powder bronzer brush. I have Plenty for cream bronzer, but not powder bronzer. So let me know if you have a powder bronzer brush that you really like. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this all over and down my neck. Okay, now I'm just gonna fill in my brows and I'll just speed through this because you see me do it 5,000 times. Now for the eyes, I'm just going to use a few shades from this Dior palette. And I forgot, this palette actually has a primer on the inside. So I'm just going to use the primer first. And I can't really remember. I feel like this doesn't really even out your eyelids. Yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot of pigment. It has a little bit, but... That's one thing I actually like about this palette though. I really like that it has this primer in it. I think, I don't know of another palette that comes with an eye primer in it. Okay, I am gonna take this matte nude shade in the corner, kind of a pinky nude, and I am gonna pack this all over my eye. These shadows are so nice. I forgot. They're so buttery and they just apply so, so well on your eyes. I love these. I have the Cool Neutrals one also. That one is more purple toned and I love that one too. Now I'm going to go into this shade up here. I think this is called yeah, it's called the Sculpt shade, so like a contour color for your eyes, basically. 
And I'm gonna add this as our crease color. And I'm bringing it above where my crease actually is because my eyes are hooded. And then I'm just kind of blending it out just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this shimmer shade. It's kind of a shimmery gold right here. And I'm gonna apply this just in the center of the lid and kind of pull it up. And honestly, that's probably all I'm gonna do. I don't really wanna do a ton on my eyes. I think I'll take a little bit of that, oops, that sculpt shade that we used and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. And that is pretty much it, I think, for the eyes. Other than, I'll, I'm either gonna use the dark brown in here. They have two browns. They have the matte dark brown and then this kind of shimmery chocolate brown. Um, so I honestly might do a little wing with this. I was gonna use eyeliner, but I feel like I might just do this instead. So I usually just kind of mix the matte and the shimmery brown and keep my eye open, draw my line straight out, and then just follow your bottom lash line and connect it up. So you get your shape and then you just fill it in. And I do have, um, if you haven't seen, I have a video where I kind of talk about this a little more thoroughly, how I do this wing with shadow or an eyeliner with more of a hooded eye shape. But you can see every time it just gives you that perfect wing shape when your eyes open. My wings are not perfectly <laughs> symmetrical today, but that's okay. Sometimes they're not. Your eyes are not perfectly symmetrical either, so it's not a big deal. And I think I'm gonna do Benefit Bad Gal Bang for mascara. Okay, almost done. For the lips, I think I'm gonna use the LA Girl Perfect Precision Pencil in the shade Bare. This color is really nice. Doesn't show up a ton on my lips because my lips are already pretty pigmented and these are, this color is pretty light, but I do like it. These pencils are so good though. If you haven't tried these from LA Girl, please do. Um, they're so cheap and they're always on sale at Ulta, I feel like. All right, and then I'm gonna do just like a little bit of that MAC blankety color. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of Wifey for Lifey from Too Faced. And then I'm just gonna set with Charlotte Tilbury. And just lightly go over with my sponge and that will be it. And that is going to be it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I love filming these everyday makeup drawers. They're so fun. I just, I say this every time, but I feel so excited when I have new products in my vanity or in my filming desk here. Just, I don't know. I just love to play around with new combinations and it's just exciting to me. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos as much as I love them. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and go follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair. I will see you guys next time for another video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.